This exhibition of Lynette Yadambwachi's work is the second in a trio of exhibitions curated by Hilton Alls, who is a, uh, he's the theater critic for The New Yorker, and he teaches writing at Columbia University. And he has recently turned his attention to curating contemporary art. When he said he was interested in British art, it piqued my interest. Given that the Huntington is one of the most important collections of British art in this country, and certainly the most important collection of British Grand Manor portraiture outside of Britain itself, the Grand Manor portraits are in this gallery, in which I'm standing now, and they are uh, life-size standing portraits of upper-class patrons in Britain. Uh, so this is a perfect venue for the work of Lynette Yadambuachi. Lynette is, uh, she was born in London, which is where she works. Her parents are from Ghana, and uh, she works in a figural mode. She's interested in depicting the black figure in painting, uh, but they're not portraits. Unlike the images in this gallery, none of them are portraits. She works from her imagination, and this is all about freeing it up from interpretation so that we can then engage with them on a very direct level. She has said that she uh, wants to free up her painting from the typical overlay in Western art with regards to the black figure that, uh, that tends to invest it with a sense of sorrow or pain or heroism. She's not interested in that. She, her working practice is interesting as well. She typically paints uh, a painting in one day. She likes the effect of working in the wet oil paint. Uh, this provides a very spontaneous sense of the figure, very fresh working of the figure uh, that would be slightly lost if the over 24 hours when the oil paint starts to dry. So she's very interested in that. It's not about bragadocio and being able to do something in a day. It's really about um, retaining this kind of immediate, spontaneous, fresh approach to the figure. Lynette has said that she uh, paints what she cannot write and she writes what she cannot paint. She's also a writer. And it's very, I, I find it very interesting the, uh, the titles that she gives to her paintings because they're, they're quite poetic. They're very, uh, they're a little bit elusive and they don't exactly name what's going on in the painting. And that's the point. We placed Lynette's work in the North Passage, which is right outside the Thornton Portrait Gallery, so that we invite the viewers to walk between these two spaces to contemplate the commonalities, the things they share, and also to uh, think for a minute about how they diverge.